it's sickness, sign of horses, and it's a pretty ordinary day at the stables today. Winter is here and there are hardly any special events, no more Vikings needed to fight off knights at certain castles. <laughs> so pretty much uh, uneventful uh, November leading up to the hectic life of December and then getting ourselves through the winter. This is all. But I do have that green mat that I bought at IKEA and um, I've already tried it out once or twice with Blizz and I was actually quite surprised about the results so I'm going to put Blizz on that mat again and show you how that works out. But first he needs some food. his food and he is a very eager pony. Now back up, back up. What I have taught him is to wait for his food and that has two reasons. One of them is that he's patient and not running all over me and the other is that he anticipates the food and starts making saliva <laughs> and that helps him digest the food. Wait. That's how you get a very well behaved little horse. Sometimes I made him make him wait longer and sometimes not so long and sometimes I don't even make him wait at all. Buddy. The swaying is real. The 
these are all tricks that he knows very well because we've been doing them for years. But doing them on the mat makes such a difference. And you can see him swaying throughout his entire body. It's like his bum is going that way and when he, in his front end. And he's really finding his new balance. And he didn't want to do the bow on the mat because he felt too unstable. And I still doing that trick have the feeling that he finds it hard, not because it's, an hard, it's a hard exercise, which it is, by the way. But he finds it hard to find his balance when one of his leg, legs is underneath him. He's the type of horse, you see some horses are uh, doing that naturally, grazing on their knees or um, bowing when they want to lie down. He's not that type of horse, he just kind of buckles his feet and then smashes down on the ground. <laughs> so for him to do these exercises is very hard and to do them on the mat is just another exercise in itself. He's still swaying. I think he likes to sway. You like it, buddy? Yeah. Let's kiss. Kiss. Thank you. was all right for today. Uh, I've been getting the feeling lately that he's not very much into workouts. Um, but as soon as I get on his back, he's like, oh yay, let's do something. And then he's awesome. So maybe he's bored with all the groundwork and tra training and that sort of thing. And he just wants to have fun with me. I want to give him the best, best pension that a horse can wish. I want to see him through to the days where I can't ride him anymore. Uh, make sure that from here till then he's physically fit and physically healthy and physically happy. Because he's my treasure and I love him to bits. And I'm so proud of him. And these short moments here where we did a bit of canter, pirouette-ish type of thing, and then changing leads, I mean, I can't even imagine that I'd be sit sitting here saying that we were doing that sort of thing. In the old days, I was just happy if I could canter a full circle <laughs> or trot in a straight line <laughs> or even trot in a circle. So we've come very, very far and I've learned so much from him. And I take that on to the next generation, to Brissinger. And meanwhile, I try to educate myself with even more information about stuff. <laughs>